Hi Floss Tube Stitchers. Welcome back to video 140 from Shelly at Just Stitching Inc. in Strongsville, Ohio. And this is the first week in February, so you know what that means. Freebie February. I didn't do it last year uh, because of my broken elbow. I wasn't stitching at that time, so I really missed it. And I have a photo album um, on my iPad that's full of pictures of free charts on the internet. And I also have mm, probably <laughs> five piles of printed charts over the years. And I just, I love being able to share them with you. And of course I have to stitch them too. So I'm going to start off by sharing the five uh, first pieces for this month. On the first, I worked on um, Let It Snow by Barbara Anna Designs. And this is what I got done. I think the, the fabric's gonna wash out a little bit on camera, but it's 28 count Summer Sky Joblin from Witchelt Imports. And I just got the face done. And I may tweak the colors of the hat. I've done um, a previous snowman of hers and I might pull out the blues from that one instead of making it quite this turquoise. So anyway, I think it's really cute. I love her designs. I have a bunch more that I wanna do. But if you remember, I try to keep it to one, uh, one chart per designer per um, session. I could do hands-on design for the whole month. I could do a lot of designers for the whole month, but I choose only one per designer so that I give you a nice variety. So that was day one. Then on day two, um, it's, I just want the, here we go. Day two was Ever Blessed from Heartstring Samplery, and you can get it on her blog. She puts out a free chart every fall that has to do with being thankful or grateful or feeling blessed. This was in 2013, and I think the reason I hadn't done it before now is that I just didn't decide on what fabric or whatever. So anyway, when I printed the chart for myself, it prints all with one symbol, so it's monochromatic, and I didn't remember until today when I went to uh, save this picture to share with you that she had shared a couple different colorways. She didn't give details for a floss number. She just kind of uh, used her design program to plug in some colors. So I'm doing mine monochromatic and don't let me um, second guess myself. Tell me to keep going with what I'm doing because I liked it until I saw this. Anyway, I just wanted to um, remind you about that. Uh, sometimes there are different choices. Not all of the time um, do they actually stitch the free chart. So sometimes you really do have to choose your own colors. But anyway, I kind of forgot about it. So I had this gorgeous piece of 28 count lima bean uh, cashel linen from Mystic Fabrics. And although in the picture that I shared on social media and even right now, this looks almost black, it's actually molasses from Weeks Dye Works, so it would be similar to 3371 in DMC. It looks a little better here. I think the photo that I took makes it look black. But I do like it all in one color. Uh, I don't think I would stitch it twice unless I was gonna give one of them away. So I, 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 need, I need to continue, right? Anyway, I really like this. I like working on Mystic Fabrics too. And I left the thread there because for two reasons. One, I wanted to remember um, to do it. And then the second reason was to remember to tell you what I was thinking of doing. And I believe it's a turkey because it has a lot of other fall things there, the pumpkins and the acorns and the leaves. And I'm thinking of expanding the, uh, the feather fan. So I left the thread there. Um, I might have to chart it out first to make sure I'm not um, 
putting in stitches and then having to rip them out because I didn't like the way it looked. So that's exactly the way it's charted. And I think I'm just gonna fill it out a little bit more. The other thing I'm thinking of doing is instead of putting the year, although I can fit 2023, I only have to move it over maybe one stitch, possibly two. So I know I could fit that in there. I'm not always a big fan of putting in the year unless it means something. I don't always date the pieces I do. So I was thinking of maybe putting a couple buttons there and I thought I had an assortment of acorn buttons and I couldn't find them the other day. So um, I'm thinking of either using acorns or pumpkins, but all one color, like maybe wooden, maybe brown, maybe a natural color, or I could do pumpkins, but I'm not gonna find a brown pumpkin. So I don't wanna really add color to what I'm doing. So anyway, stay tuned. All right, that was Ever Blessed. And I will give the, I'll give the links for the ones I show in each video. You can also look on my daily uh, Facebook posts and Instagram, although you can't link directly from Instagram. I do, you know, uh, leave it there um, so that you could copy and paste or um, write it down and type it in later. And then on the, the video where I show the final um, stitch of the month, I'll list all of them. So there's a couple different ways you can get them. All right, the next one is Spooky from Heart and Hand. And this is one that you can access by signing up for her newsletter, and you can do that on her website, heartinhand.com, I believe it is. So uh, I can't wait to put his spooky mouth in. I just think it's so cute. So let me show you that picture. Actually, um, I don't have it. Let's see. I couldn't find it stitched anywhere. Let me see if I can keep that blown up a little bit. So that's what it looks like. And it has uh, black and white for the eyes and the mouth. And then there's um, green for the tendrils. And there's some other colors, maybe some yellow and purple, I think. I forget um, in the little X's. So anyway, I think it's really cute. It's really a, uh, it's a quick stitch. So I'm enjoying that. I want to do all of the ones that she has done in her um, new newsletter. Um, so that's that. And I'm using all of the suggested colors because I thought they were great. And although it wasn't stitched, she suggested that her favorite neutral fabric to work on is 32 Vintage Country Mocha from Zweigart. And I have this perfect scrap. So I'm just doing it exactly the way she suggested because she's the expert. Then on day four, I had planned to do uh, something patriotic, flags on the fourth maybe, and I do have a couple patriotic ones that I was gonna do, and for some reason, I don't know, this, this one was just ready. It's not exactly a flag, but it, um, it denotes, um, let's see, how can I, ah! Maybe if I just bring it closer. So this is by October House Fiber Arts and it's on her website, and I'm using the colors as suggested, except for, um, I'm subbing out Turkish red for Louisiana hot sauce for the bright red. It, they're almost exactly the same color, but Turkish red doesn't have the hint of orange running through it. So I, I hardly ever use Louisiana hot sauce because there's just, I'm not a fan of orange. So um, this was close enough and I'm using all of the rest of the suggested colors. And I think that's really gonna be fun to finish. Then since today is the fifth and I haven't stitched yet today, I'm showing you a fully finished that I probably shared on social media, but it might have been a couple years ago, and if you're new followers or you're not on Instagram or whatever, you may not have seen it. So this is by Whispered by the Wind called Let It Snow. And although she's no longer designing, her website is still up and you can still find her free charts there. This was custom framed by, of course, Bonnie at Valley Framing. 
I believe the fabric is either Haven or Stellar, but it was a few years ago, so it may not look the same. I know that Marilyn started using unsized fabric to dye on, and that sometimes changes the way the color comes out. But when I looked at my swatches, that's what it looked like. And I don't know why we decided on gold on the inside instead of silver. We probably tried both and this stood out more. I, I, can't, re I can't remember the details of that conversation. But um, I really like a one color design. So this was really fun to stitch. And I usually leave it out for a couple months in the winter because we are in Northeast Ohio and typically we get snow um, for a longer season. So that is Let It Snow by Whispered by the Wind. All right, then, uh, whoops, I need my, I need my whiteboard back because um, I also did a little more stitching on one of my hashtag NYE 12x12 designs. So I was working on seasonal etchings. And if anybody else has the same question about where these were originally, you may not have to purchase the chart because you may already have these. They were featured in, I always get it backwards, um, Primitive Stitch Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher Magazine. And it was uh, the year 2020. So the four issues that year each had one. And I believe it started with the bunny and ended with the cardinal. Yeah, so spring, summer, fall, and winter. That's how they, that's how they came out. Um, the only difference would be if you wanted to do the extra design that's included in the leaflet, it says, uh, what does it say? Something about seasons. Um, it just says the seasons, but it has little motifs for the four different seasons. So that's what she gave you extra um, for the leaflet, which is $13. All right, so this is, this is what I got done since um, New Year's Eve day. So one night I worked on um, the flowers. For, well, I finished the bunny and then I did the flowers. I think I might have, I think last time I showed it, I might have had one of the flowers on it. And then I started over here with the fish. And there's just two colors of the fish, the blue and the green. And I meant to look this up, so I totally apologize to the lady who suggested this because I know I should remember who said it. But um, a viewer remembered me talking about changing the fish to a salmon color in my Land That I Love by Birds of a Feather. And she suggested that I make one of these fish um, a salmon color. Well, I was thinking it might work out perfectly because that's kind of a salmony pink. But I'm not, I'm, I think it's, really well balanced the way it is. I may do one of the fish in a different blue, but I'm not sure I'm gonna change it to salmon. I think it might be too much pink at the top. And like the brown is well balanced and there's a, a pop of different color in each one. So I think I'm gonna keep it like this. But if you were doing the fish as a separate piece or if you change any of the colors in yours, I thought it was a good suggestion. All right, so that's that. And then I will show you a new shop model that came back from Bonnie. Let's see, I don't wanna get my, I don't wanna lose my thread. So this is by With Thy Needle and Thread from a couple years ago. It's called All Bundled Up. And the original design, I think, just had like one snowflake hanging from the vine, and she wanted to put a few more on. So we found in the store a pack of these buttons that included the snowflakes and the tree. Let's see. I, I can't remember. I think this all came as one pack. So I know we looked at a couple different possibilities. I don't have any more right now, so I'll have to order more but they're by the bee company and they're wooden. And I just think they're so cute. It was my idea. She said, well, what am I gonna do with a tree? Cause we were looking for the white snowflakes and a few of the packs contained the white and red so that she didn't have to worry about what she was gonna do with the red. I said, oh, how about this pack? 
and I suggested that she have him hold the little tree. So we're so tickled with how it came out. I don't know the fabric. I don't remember. It might be a 36 from R&R &R Reproductions and it's stitched with one strand and it really looks good, doesn't it? For only, for one strand. Um, this is why everybody loves 36 count because you can get away with one strand. So it's so cute. I love it. All bundled up. All right, I'm gonna put that aside. And next, we had a few automatics that came. Hands-on design came out with Mad for Plaid and the fall one had been a free chart. And I don't know whether she originally had the idea to do this, but I know that she got a lot of comments. Are you gonna do the rest of the seasons? So I think that's really cute. Um, I will be getting the um, 141 Design Company, um, what is it called again? Disp display board shelf, I guess what it, it's not here yet. And then what is the other thing? Oh, um, it uses Cosmo embroidery floss and I am going to get it, but I'm sorry, folks. <laughs> it's been a crazy last two months and I don't do a lot of ordering in December anyway. Um, so uh, I, I plan on ordering the whole line of Cosmo floss sometime this year. I've been talking about it for a while and I just haven't done it yet. So um, if you find it elsewhere, I won't be offended. They probably already have packs made for this. Then she had snow on the ground, which also includes a little scissor fob. And the final in the basket series, the winter basket. Then Heartstring Samplery has um, one of her reproduced antique samplers called Kate Adkin. And that's 12. A one color, I love it. And then you hold the key to my heart. This is along the lines of some of her other pillows that are about the same size. And I love that um, you, can, you can do it on whatever fabric you like and either make it into a larger pillow, you could make it into a scissor fob, you could do it over one. She's got a, um, some keys attached to a, a lobster claw on the side there. So um, it could be um, to a friend too. And then uh, Scissor Tail Designs uh, sent me these two. This is her latest design. She sent me these two free as a thank you for being on her automatic, which was really sweet because it arrived in the middle of a very stressful week and it was just um, very thoughtful and unexpected. So I'm going to keep one for myself because I love her designs and I'm gonna give one away. So all you have to do is make some kind of comment using the word love, and it might help if you put love in caps because we tend to say we love this, we love that. And so just to be assured that you want to be in the drawing for this chart, um, put love in caps in your comment. All right, and then while we're talking about um, giveaways, lo um, love in the round, is going to Cindy K because I don't know how to pronounce your name, Cindy. She knows who she is, I already commented. And um, when she um, commented on my video, she said she loves everything French. So that is perfect for her, that's the one she chose. So I'll be mailing that out to her. And then another piece of housekeeping, I had to choose the winner, have the random number generator choose the winner from the Christmas decorating video. And um, it seems to be that it works out that if you submitted more than a few pictures, you tended to win because you had more chances. And so that was true this year for Marla Arbit. And she's gonna get Christmas Simple Smalls with a quarter yard of 32 count white Lugana, unless she wants Ada. I said it was gonna be either, and I need to add a few more floss colors in there, but she's gonna get all the floss. And this has how many designs in here? I, th I think there were like 15 designs or something in here. Anyway, uh, she'll have fun deciding what she's gonna do, what she's gonna stitch, and maybe if some of them are gonna be gifts, 
So that will go out to Marla. All right, then we also got two new pieces of fabric. Yards, I should say. <laughs> I get them by the yard. They're both Zweigart. Just gonna put the top out so that you can see the color. This is 20 count Ada. So I've had um, more than a few people ask if I would start carrying more 20 count. And honestly, they are coming out with more colors in 20 count. And there are new dyers that are offering 20 count. So I remember maybe five years ago, nobody was hand dyeing on 20 count that I could find. So um, this matches up to DMC 369 and it runs $42 a yard. So very inexpensive. And then this one is a 25 count Lugana called Sun. Oh, I'm sorry, that was called Mimosa Green. And this is Sunbeam, 25 count Lugana, and it matches DMC 676, and it runs 63.50 a yard. So again, very inexpensive. Uh, you could work over one or over two on the 25 count. So that is that. Um, I think I'm gonna really quick show you, since I unwrapped it all, I was hoping I would have time to show you, some Easter haul because the way stores get things in and run out so quickly, if I wait until another video, this might be gone. So I wanted to go to Dollar Tree to find some things that had been shown on other people's floss tube and Instagram pages. And uh, I, I got one, you know, I got one of the uh, types of items. I was actually looking for some Valentine things and I, I didn't find anything at my local Dollar Tree. It hardly ever has anything. And we're, you know, this is a fairly big city I live in and I just feel like our Dollar Trees are always lacking. And Michael's, they just don't have what everybody else has. Um, and our Targets, I'll even go to the bigger Target and I don't know, maybe I have to go every week and who has time for that? But I had seen, I had seen this one I think on a Facebook post, it, I think it was in the um, Stitching with the Housewives fan group. And I just love the trim that has the carrots. These are kind of wonky. I might have to, you know, play with those because they've been smashed in the package and they're not perfectly round anymore. But I thought that was really cute. And then they also uh, had these little bunnies and several shades of pink. And then the little chicks. Um, I think... There's also a purple one, but the, the middle trim just said Happy Easter, and I decided not to get that one. But this was something I didn't know they had. Um, you get two, and I have several trees that I can do, like tabletop trees that I can use for other holidays. And so I thought these would be good backings for cross-stitch, like I'm seriously wanting to stitch Easter right now, right now. I can't, I need to stitch Freebie February. But anyway, I'm excited to find some small designs that I can put in these. So they had four colors, yellow, lavender, blue, and pink. Then, Let's see. The way I stack these, I'll have to show it to you last. Then I went to Target, and they did have two things uh, that were Easter-related, stitching-related, I should say. Um, but then in this um, strip mall area, there's also a TJ Maxx. So, you know, I have to go to all three. If I go to one, I have to go to all three. So I found some decor that could go in or near a tiered tray. So I found some bunnies. I really liked this. You know me, I'm a fan of wood and monochromatic pieces. So that will look very cute next to this bunny. And this bunny, and this is a this is a pale pink on the outside. They also had white and just the wood, but since this other bunny had a pink nose and ears, I decided to pick the pink. It's the same on both sides, so if it's on a, uh, like the top of a tiered tray, it looks good from both sides. You you probably could also put a small, um, like a, 
Um, if you covered a button with a cross stitch, it would look cute on one side. Anyway, they just look cute just the way they are. But this is what I was the most excited about. Oh my gosh, look at the beaded carrots. And there's six of them. If I were nice, I could give some to a friend, but I'm just gonna use them in my tiered tray and other places. So they weren't that expensive. Um, I forget, uh, these were $7. The other ones were anywhere from, I don't know, five to, five to $10 or something like that. So that was my TJ Maxx haul. And then the two things I found at Target, I had seen this, I, I saw somebody show this, and when you're looking at these, some of them are really wonky looking. So if you're going to put cross stitch here, we don't care what this looks like. Make sure, you know, that the design is the way you like it on the rest of it, and don't worry about the middle. That was um, for myself, because I tended, there were only four at my store, and of course, I had to look at all of them, and I'm like, wait a minute, nobody cares about this because you're going to cover that. So that was more um, a pep talk to myself. And then the other item, I didn't take it apart because I don't have the right kind of scissors here, but it's a tear tray with, the, with bunny ears. So um, this is what both of the tears look like. So Anyway, I'm excited about this. The tear tray that I have up right now still has snowmen in it. And I'm going to skip Valentine's Day and St. Patrick's Day and drag out all my Easter and play around with that. And I would love to maybe do a little video of how I decorate it. Except I don't have that much stitching um, for a tiered tray. Um, I have mostly framed pieces. I haven't really done that much for Easter, so it might not have that much stitching in it. But um, anyway, I think that might be uh, kind of fun to see how I add to it every year. Um, I think that's it. Yes, everything is crossed off on my list. Oh, I did, I did want to mention that um, I don't always go through the comments right away because it's easier for me to go through and do it like all at once. So I usually tend to do it right before I'm going to um, pick a uh, winner for the giveaway. So um, I had noticed that Judy Whitman herself had commented on my video. And I know she watches me because she has said things before. But she said, um, you know, Thank you very much for, first of all, stitching my uh, Christmas in the Round and also for mentioning the other titles. And I'm like, of course I'm going to advertise everything else that a designer has in a series. So it's good for them and it's good for me. And it's good for you because you may not know about it. And instead of just deciding on one or two things, you can go um, see the whole array if you know about it. So anyway, that was kind of exciting. It's, it's always exciting when a designer comments. Um, Okay, so next week I'm going to try to show some Valentine things. I will continue um, with week two of Freebie February. Um, hopefully there will be some other new stuff that comes. I'm kind of expecting two big fabric shipments. That will be exciting. And then the following week there will be no video. So that's how, and then the last week of the month um, I'll finish up um, all of the freebies Wait, I didn't check to see what day that fell. If the end of the month falls in the middle of the week, then it'll have to be a March video that shows like all of the links for the free charts. Okay, I made it through in under 30 minutes without having to edit anything. Yay for me. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.